If you are a financial advisor or life insurance agent and you are looking to step up your marketing, digital marketing game for 2024 or looking to create a strategy, stick around because we're about to get started with the Digital Advisor Weekly. What would you say is the number one reason why people fail? Lack of brains, lack of effort. Lack of brains, lack of effort. Yeah, they just, they don't do the work. They don't learn, you know. When you walk in the room, when you start a business and you start to talk about somebody, you're, you're never in a vacuum with no competition, you know, unless you're just extremely lucky. And if there's going to be competition, that means somebody else knows your business as well as you do when you get started. And if you walk into a competitive environment and they still know more about the business than you do and more about your customers, you're going to lose. But most people don't consider that. They don't do the work. They don't learn more about their industry. They don't know even about their business. I mean, and so you've got to put in the effort to know more about your industry than anybody else. This is Rob Souza with the Digital Advisor Weekly, and we're going to be going over 10 unique steps or strategies to be able to develop your 2024 marketing strategy. It will kick off 2024 with a bang and you will be able to take your business to the next level. Again, 10 proven marketing tips that you can apply today within the next two to three weeks before the end of the year to ensure 2024 launches to a much greater success to scale your business to the next level that you've been looking to and, and setting goals to be able to achieve in your financial advisor or life insurance agency. So let's jump in, let's get to it. Number one of the 10 steps, set, a, set clear goals and objectives. Make sure that you are very, very clear about exactly what you want to accomplish in 2024. If you are looking for large ticket sales, you may only need 10 very specific new sales within the next 12 months to accomplish that goal. Let's say that your average sale is $15,000, $20,000. You may only need uh, 10, 15 unique clients to be able to achieve that goal. However, if you're doing uh, term life insurance, long-term care sales, and the commissions are much smaller, you may then need to scale that up to 50 to 100 clients. That's okay. Uh, those are much easier sales. The sales cycle is much faster. And so it doesn't matter what your specific goals are, but let's make sure that you have a target so that you can actually hit the target. You've got to be very specific about what you want to accomplish and who you want to reach in 2024. Step two, very important, analyze your past performance. If you haven't gone over your specific plan. If you have not rehearsed and attempted to apply these particular goals and strategies in previous marketing years, then that's okay. Then I would encourage you to reach out to somebody who has and try and glean from their experience and their mistakes. I encourage you to case share. If you're going out with going out, if you're, if you're, go, well, going out to connect with let's say people who are in the medical industry, then you need, if you haven't done it before, you need to connect with somebody who has and they have a proven track record and they've already gone out there and they've figured out what works and what doesn't work. And so you can learn from their mistakes because mistakes cost money and you don't wanna spend 2024 figuring out what works and what doesn't work. If you've been going after this particular topic, subject, audience, solution, then make sure you go back and you analyze your data. Make sure you have tracking to go back, analyze your performance, scale to what works, scale back what doesn't work. Number three, conduct market research. It's super important. It's very easy in today's technology to go ahead and do the research necessary. You can just search demographics and then fill in the demographics age, location, job title, industry, their, the, the makeup of their family, their, a, uh, their uh, stage in life, their values, religion, politics, all of that 
can be researched and their income level, their asset level, their home value, all of that can is free data online for you to be able to research. And with today's AI tools, especially on a Microsoft-driven computer with the Bing uh, search engine, AI is incorporated and will do the demographic research for you and give you those results so you know exactly who you're going after, where do they hang out, and how to reach them. And it'll become very clear when you do that research. I can't tell you how much, how much that the market research will significantly decrease your failure rate and save you money because again, mistakes cost money and increase your internal rate of return. All right, number four, make sure you create a very, very specific customer persona. And so that's your target audience. We went over that just a second ago. All of the things that you can do to create that, that persona. What are their values? What do they care about most? What stage of life are they in? What are they trying to accomplish? Are they trying to create family legacy or they don't have kids and they don't care about legacy? What they really want is maximize retirement income. You need to know your audience, very important. Make sure you create that persona so that you can go after that specific demographic. Number five, embrace data and analytics. We're talking to, I'm talking to financial advisors. You do this as a profession. So if you're not doing it for yourself in as in depth as you're doing it for your clients, you're making a mistake, you're hindering your growth, and you're wasting time and money. I encourage you, it's super important to make sure that you have analytics. Now, what do I mean by analytics? You can go back into demographics, but you can look at your open rates, uh, your response rates, internal rate of returns, what type of topics respond better. But if you are also haven't included your Google Analytics, if you have not onboarded Google Analytics to your website and your landing pages, you're, you're, you're losing money, you're missing out on opportunity, I encourage you to do that. Lead scoring, if you're not lead scoring, every single action that your leads are taking and you're not lead scoring it, you're missing out. And there's other things that we can do to track them around the web and bring them in to a sales funnel that will drive them down the sales funnel to where at the bottom of the sales funnel, after multiple nurturing, 10 to 12 different steps, you can drive them into a calendar appointment. But again, you need the analytics to be able to decrease the failure rate and increase and lean into the things that are working. Number six, focus on mobile optimization. What I mean by that, it just means cell phones and tablets are becoming prolific and it's increasing at a very dramatic rate. So please check your website, your landing pages, your social media. Make sure that you look at it on a cell phone because oftentimes if it's not optimized for cell phone, you're missing out because people will just bounce immediately off. They saw something, they clicked on it, it doesn't make sense on a mobile phone and they're gone. So make sure you check mobile optimization. Number seven, diversify your platforms. So I know a lot of us get overwhelmed and we don't want to be spending all day working on multiple different platforms, but if you don't test different platforms, you're never gonna know where you're gonna reach your audience. Is it gonna be email, text messaging, voice drop, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, LinkedIn? Is it gonna be groups, communities? Uh, you, you, it could be that you actually have to go and attend certain uh, workshops or conferences or um, like homeschool for some of our advisors. It's actually conferences where you can become a vendor at a booth. You've got to figure out where your audience is, but unless you've tested it, if it's not working, you got to test, you got to try something new. You got to test it and lean into what works, drop what doesn't. So number eight, invest in content marketing. This is probably the most important. If you had to do anything here, I would say 
make sure that you are tracking analytics to see what works and doesn't work. But more important than even that is your own unique content marketing. If you're not creating content that is unique, meaning it's, it's not a dictionary definition or an encyclopedia definition of a 401k or an option or a bond or an annuity that they could look up on Google and 25,000 other people have explained the exact same thing, then you're not creating unique content. You need to create unique content for a very unique audience that nobody else is talking to and then tailor that message with your own specific opinion and message and inspiration that that group of people is not hearing from anybody else. When you do that, that's when you're gonna start, start to really see that you don't need thousands of people. You tap into the right audience with the right message and you create unique content that doesn't exist anywhere else that nobody else has heard of and they hear it from a unique perspective from you and that resonates with them, you'd be surprised you only need a couple hundred people to connect with and you can create all the business that you need for 2024 with as little as a couple hundred people. You gotta find the right audience. You gotta create the right message. It's gotta be unique. If you're not creating unique content, I, I have not seen, unless you have a lot of money to spend in advertising, you're gonna struggle to be able to scale your business the way that I know most of you truly want to scale your business. Oh, Number nine, we're finishing it off here, leverage artificial intelligence. This is gonna happen, 2024 is gonna be a radical change for all of us. And so it's extremely important that you lean into the learning curve of artificial intelligence. And I'll give you an opportunity to learn how I can help you with that here at the end of uh, today's video in just a few moments. But I encourage you, develop a strategy, make sure art analytics, testing, tracking, artificial intelligence, automation needs to all be part of that plan because that's where the industry is going. And if you don't get on the train, the train is leaving the station without you. And artificial intelligence is absolutely transforming our industry. And if you don't learn how to use it and optimize even the creation of videos like this or your unique content, you're gonna end up getting frustrated not being able to keep up with the advancement of the rest of the industry. And then number 10, and we'll finish here, stay agile, don't be afraid to experiment, try new things, and get coaching. If you're going after an industry you haven't gone after before, find somebody who has. If you're trying something new, like a blog or a vlog or a podcast, you've never done it before, lean in to somebody who has. Lean into a coach that can coach you through the process because the money that you'll spend trying to figure it out on your own will be significantly greater than the money you'll spend for a coach who has figured it out and they can mentor you into effectively implementing a new strategy for you. Don't keep jumping from one thing to the next until you've had a full chance to run that strategy through 10 to 12 touch points. Because if people aren't responding after 10 to 12 touch points of you reaching out with unique content to a unique target audience, and you're not getting a 20% response rate after 10 to 12 touch points, then it's time to consider something different. But if you jump prior to the 10 to 12 touch points, you haven't run them through the entire funnel, you don't have enough data to know that it's working or not working, and you're staying at the top of the funnel where you're just throwing lots of information to different audiences with different messages, you're never getting people down to the bottom of the funnel. At the end of the day, all that matters is scheduling them on your calendar for an appointment for you to begin the mentorship and life transforming process that will help change their financial future and family legacy. That's what I want for you. So today and with this video only, 
If you schedule a 15 minute introductory call, I will help you develop, not in 15 minutes, but if you schedule a 15 minute call, I will help you develop a strategy, marketing strategy for 2024 in a one hour strategy call after our introductory call. But to qualify, you do need to schedule a 15 minute introductory call so I can get to know you, your business, your target audience, and your message. And that will qualify you for a 40% discount in any services that Advisor Marketing Hub provides. That's software automation. And we have everything under the sun from lead generation to lead nurture, CRM. And if you would like to take advantage of a free strategy session, that would also qualify you for 2024 to get a 40% discount because our prices are going to full price on January 1st, and this would lock you or any referral into a 40% discount for 2024. That's how committed we are to helping over 100 advisors transform their businesses into six to seven figure income businesses that will transform your life. Just go to www.schedulewithrob.com, schedule an introductory call. That's www.schedulewithrob.com, and let's launch your success for 2024.